Hello and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. Last episode, we set up a lot of the big things in our cargo hub area, such as the buildings and the basic road layout, and some of the storage and depot buildings. So in this episode, we're going to come through and add a bunch of the smaller details to really bring this place to life and we might even end up connecting a line or two depending on how far we get. So first off, we almost finished this uh, port area last episode, but there is still a few small details that I want to add around here, um, so let's get into that. So the first thing we're going to add to this building is the main entrance doors, and we'll put those probably about here. That looks about centered on the building. And then over here on the port side of the building, I want to add a couple of these gates. So let's see if we can get... I'd say four would probably work pretty well. So let's line this up, and we'll place this down right about there. So next we'll come through and add some details to the roof. So one there, and maybe one over there. We'll add this small detail right about there. And I think this building has pretty much come together how we want it to. And we can come over here and start to figure out how we're going to hide some of this stuff that's poking through. So it looks like with this thing we can pretty much cover what was poking through the roof. And I think that that works pretty well. You can't even really see it at all so I like that we'll keep it we might add just one or two more things up here on the roof and then I think we're good to move on to some other details all right so now let's get in here and I want to maybe fill in some of these empty spaces and maybe put a few things along the docks that we have through here all right so I think this is all that we're going to do for the port area, we added a bunch of different goods and resources onto the dock here, and then filled in these two sort of empty spaces next to our main building with just some storage for things that are probably going in and out of this whole area. And now the next area we're going to work on is the truck station. So I think a lot of this blank space over here is going to be where goods are stored and then over here I think we're going to add a truck depot somewhere and we'll have to connect it up with a road somewhere so we'll figure that out when we get there alright so I think we've added all the uh, building details that we want so we added the main entrance here and just some smaller things around here such as the ladder and the roof vents so next I think we'll figure out where we're going to put the road depot in this area and then we can finish up around the building once that's placed. So for the road depot I'm thinking about placing it maybe right about here so that the road fits between those two windows. So we'll have to pull this back and we're not going to be able to see it really. We'll have to pull it back just far enough so you don't see it and then click there and then hopefully we should be able to just pull a road straight out and then connect it to this road right here all right so I'm happy with this we got our gates in for the trucks to come in and out we zoom out here you can see we can use this truck depot so I think we're going to fill in this area and this area with some parking and then we can move on to detailing around the actual truck station itself alright so I'm pretty happy with this area I think parking looks pretty alright so now we can move on over here and finally figure out what we're gonna do with all of this. So the space is quite 
odd that we have to work with, so that's why I'm pretty much just turning it into a storage area, since there's really nothing else we can really turn it into, as this width doesn't really help us with much, and this space between the truck station and the road really isn't that large. So, the first thing we're going to do is, I think we're going to section off this spot of the train or the truck station and we'll just have to rotate it and then make this white line here so we can clearly see the separation between where the truck station is and where it isn't so now that we have that down I think we're going to add a fence around the entire perimeter so let's start our fence right here at the edge and we'll want to flip that and then we'll just have it follow around the roads for this entire area all right so now that we have this whole area fenced in let's come in and place a bunch of our uh, storage or our goods all right so I think this is what we're going to leave this as. We have pretty much every good stored over in this area, and we have a little path in the middle for trucks or anything that want to come through and move things or inspect things. And then over here is just sort of like an open area for some trucks to park if they need to stop real quick, and a little bit more storage over here for some other goods. So now let's just come in and add a few more details. So I think some cranes in this area would be pretty good, especially for all of this storage areas. So something like that I think will work pretty well. And then I'm not too sure what to do with these areas as they don't really make too much sense for parking or a building or anything so I think we'll just leave these open for now and this space is also quite weird so I'm not too sure what we want to do with this at the moment all right so we did turn this area into a small parking lot and I think that helps to fill out this space a little bit so I quite like that and as for this area I think we might turn this into a little area with some trees and bushes to help bring maybe a little bit of greenery to this whole cargo hub. So let's just come in here and paint down some grass. We'll bring that right up to the fence here. And then I think we'll grab our fence. And we'll just have a hedge bush that follows the road. So there's our hedge uh, fence. And then we'll just come in here and plop down a couple of these trees. Alright, so now I'm pretty happy to leave off this area. So now I think uh, let's move on to our main warehouse here where really this whole area is just going to become a giant parking lot as this will probably be where most of the workers that work here will come and park so we'll get those parking spaces down and then I think we'll fence off the whole lot as well all right so now we have all of this parking placed all we have to do now is fence it off fill in the parking and then add some details over here for the loading dock area so we'll start here and just follow this road around pretty much. All right, so now we're fenced in. Let's add some cars. And this is going to take quite a while to fill up this massive parking lot. So we'll be back once we're finished there. All right, so we're finally filled up the parking lot. So we can now add some details here and then move on to the loading dock. So we'll grab a ticket machine as usual. 
we'll put one here, and then we'll put one over on the other side. Now, I really don't like how this tree is here, and I wish we could have roads without trees, as I think if we, yeah, if we upgrade, we don't really get much different. And it looks like any anything else would begin to destroy what we already have here. Now one solution that does work is actually building a road into this building and we could maybe turn this into a, a garage of some sort. We would just need to relocate the main entrance and maybe we could put that over here somewhere or... I'm not too sure but I think we will roll with this so we'll do that and then find our garage doors here and then we'll get some of the nicer looking ones and place that right here so now let's just place this right there and that really doesn't make it too much of a grand entrance but I think that's fine for what this area is so now we have this nice open area where cars can come in and out uh, from the road into this parking lot and we can get back into placing down our uh, details all right so now let's move on to over here and let's get some of these larger trucks and get those backed into some of these loading docks. So I think that works out pretty well. And then we'll get a bunch of back of house and storage things back this way. All right, so I think this area here with our main warehouse is pretty much complete. We filled up these back areas with just some random things. Uh, I think maybe the building could use a little bit of work on this back side and the side here, but there's not really much more we could add to this whole area. But I think this looks pretty good, so we'll leave this, and I think now we'll work on our train station real quick. So for the train station, let's start out with these buildings, and we'll get some main entry doors and again we have trees blocking so I think we'll put the main doors over here on this building and maybe we'll even have another set right about here and then over here for this building these will just go right about there and we'll quickly just place this down right on there and now we can get to detailing these two little side areas for the train station. Alright, so we just fenced in these two side areas and I think really we're just going to be filling them up with storage and other random things that we can find as it'd be nice to get some exterior storage for this uh, train station. We will, however, add some gates here, so it does look like there's ways for things to move in and out of here. So we'll do that, and then pretty much we'll just be filling this up with all of these kind of resources. Alright, so I think that's what we're going to do with this area. We have a few more goods, a crane, and over here we have these goods, and everything looks good with that. I'm not too sure if there's really anything else left to do here. I think we'll extend these out a little bit so that in the future we can connect this up to whatever trains come through. Um, we might add, well actually we will add some of these gates so that it looks like a train could come in and out of this building. So we'll do that. And then the same thing on 
the other side here. Like so. And then I think eventually we'll get probably two or three, maybe even four other rails just coming in here, and this will sort of act as a whole maintenance building. But of course, it's a little hard to plan that out right now, and we don't really have tracks coming in here, so that'll be a project for a later date. And then, really the only place that hasn't really been resolved here is this little strip of asphalt here. I'm not too sure what I want this to be. I think... At first I thought maybe it could be parking, but then I thought maybe it'd be nice to turn this into a park and add some greenery, much like we did over here. So, I'm not too sure with what we want to do right here. So while we think about that, let's just clean up some of these edges and smooth out the terrain, especially over in this area. And then, this area is pretty much complete for the most part. Alright, so I think we will turn this into a park. We cleaned up this area over here, and I think this area would just look nicer with a nice green strip of land cutting right through it. So let's come in here, get our brush size set, and then just paint this all grass. So then we'll come in here with some trees, and we'll just place these down periodically along the edge of the road. Alright, so here's the basics of what this park's gonna look like. We added these tiles on the ground here, so it's more like a plaza on each end. And we're gonna fill this with benches and tables and stuff for people to come sit at. And then I think we'll just leave this middle area still just as grass. Alright, so here's what we did with these areas. Just a bunch of benches and a fountain with some uh, kiosks. Same thing over here. And I think that really makes this area look a little bit more green and a little more natural. So there is still a few small things to do around this area, but for the most part I'm really happy with how all of this came out. I think there's some really nice areas in this whole cargo hub area, and I'm excited to see what this looks like once we get trucks running through here and cars and stuff driving around. I think this area will really look nice once it's being properly utilized. So anyway, I think next episode we'll finally start connecting lines up to this. I know we've been saying that for a little bit now, but I think it's finally ready to receive that. So we'll do that, add some details as well, some sort of finishing touches things, and hopefully we'll get to see us up and running next episode. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions or feedback, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.